Hi, welcome back. I'm Nicole. I'm Betty. And we're going to talk about 2022. 2022, we cleaned up my little area. <sighs> I brought a sponge. Um, and I have napkins in case <laughs> anything gets so crazy. And I got a new drink. So. And you got a new drink. Because <laughs> you just spewed yours out all over. <laughs> We had to refill because yes. these are pretty good. They're going down a they little are. too easy. A little too easy because this it's I mean the coffee taste. It just <sighs> gets gl- gl- you. Gl- gl- mm-hmm. I know. It's alcohol and espresso, so it's like cocaine almost. I need to add this to my coffee every morning. <laughs> you totally should <laughs> show up to work with alcohol and coffee on your breath. I'll even I'll be even more upbeat than what I normally am and when I walk in with my coffee into the office. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Let's get this work day done. <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> I already walk in on a rampage. You so. do. <laughs> you walk in and walk out with a rampage. <laughs> I just keep my head down. Well, we're drinking our Betty Teenies because Betty, Betty White loved vodka mm-hmm. and so we did a little homage to her with our espresso martinis mm-hmm. and they're delightful yeah i'm gonna drink it all day i feel like one of those 50s housewives right now i know my pearls oh my, my martini i feel like a 50s slut <laughs> <laughs> even better you're all prim and proper and i'm over here drooling like <laughs> with your pussy bow with my pussy bow <laughs> that don't know um, which Nicole did not know this this is considered a pussy bow why um (laughs) (laughs) who did that who said I don't know let's google it we should google it and see where pussy bow came from maybe it's maybe it's the layers do I have to type pussy in my phone (laughs) I mean, Nicole, you put by the worse <laughs> things in there. We've looked up a lot of... We have. A lot of crazy things on that I phone. I try to keep it to your phone. You pussy... Ne- oh, nope. Pussy riot. Pussy bow pussy, history. Pussy bow history. No titles that... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, hmm. Pussy bow. Necks of kittens and cats. While bows at the neck had been worn since at least the 19th century, the term pussycat bow took hold in the 20th century. Oh, so it's a pussycat bow. Yeah, because cats used to wear bows on their necks. Oh. So you're like a... Kitty pussycat bow? You're just a big old pussy. (laughs) (laughs) Walking around with your bow. I always wear pussy bows. You do. I gotta represent. You are the champion of pussy bows. I don't know. I have so many pussy bows in my closet. I can't even count them. Does the word pussy make you uncomfortable? No. Because I feel like, ooh, pussy. You do? Yeah, I don't like it. You don't? No. I mean, I like is vagina. It like, is it like the word moist? Moist. Yeah. It's I don't moist. I don't mind moist, but I think it's getting a bad rap because people use it in a bad way. This drink is moist. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop there. Um yeah, I just you know, I prefer vagina. You do? Yeah. I would prefer cunt over pussy. Really? Yeah. Pussy just sounds like sloppy and wet. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have, I really don't have any issues with words like that where I feel uncomfortable saying them. I don't feel, I mean, clearly I will say it, Mm -hmm. but it just sounds like pussy. Like, Mm -hmm. it just sounds like, oh. We're probably going to get banned for using this on our videos. (laughs) Pussy. How many times did you say pussy in your video? (laughs) It's going to total to like 150,000. If you're at home, you can play a drinking game. (laughs) <laughs> Go back and rewatch this. We need to do like a word of the day. We should. Kind of like Andy Cohen on Bravo. If you when you see it, you yeah. drink. <laughs> or like Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> well, why would you even say Sesame they Street? They do letter of the day. Okay. Well, you know, I don't think Sesame Street is like, okay, word of the day is pussy. <laughs> it could mean cat. <laughs> In the 70s, they probably just said pussy like... Like mm-hmm. cat, pussy cat. Mm-hmm. 
You need to go back and tally up how many times we said pussy. Okay, we'll do that. I'll, I'll give you that job to do. Thank you. <laughs> it's my moist pleasure. <laughs> so, um, anyways, well... What are we doing? <laughs> what were we going? Um, 2022. New Year's. 2022. <sighs> that sounds exhausting. It is. Well, I mean, I guess... In some ways, it isn't. I'm ready to put Mm -hmm. 2020, 2021 behind. Yeah. Let's move forward. Sure. Right? Yeah. Let's do this. Do you usually make New Year's resolutions? I used to. Um, I don't anymore because they're usually unreasonable and they don't last. Well, give me an example of... Um, you know, like maybe not eating sweets or exercising a certain number of times a day Mm -hmm. or a a week or something like that, or losing so much weight. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm past that point in my life where I don't need to like incentive, like, oh, it's Mm -hmm. a new year. So now I'm going to lose five pounds and I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> no, or you're and pretty not, much, it's a lifestyle. You're either healthy or you're not, right? I, right. And I'm, I think it's because I'm fine with where I'm at. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not the skinniest person in the world. I'm not, like, the healthiest person in the world. But I try, mm-hmm. and I do, and I exercise. And for the most part, I eat well. But I'm going to... you look amazing, well, so... Um, but I'm going to eat a Snickers. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drink some alcohol. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to deprive myself... Life's too short, right? It is. Just like, fucking eat the hamburger, eat the Snickers, it. or yes. the ice cream. Yeah. I believe, like, everything in moderation. Yeah, I You agree. know, if you <clears throat> work out and, you know, if you work out to take care of yourself, you should also be able to reward yourself every now and then. It's right. not... I work. I always say I work out to eat what I want to eat. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think there's ever really been a point... Where I'm like, no, I can't eat that. You know, right. I, I might like think it, but then I still fucking eat it. Cause yeah. I just have no willpower. Cause I then I eat. try to eat like, oh, I'm going to eat an apple instead. But it's like, mm-hmm. no, I just want some fucking chocolate. Yeah. And then you eat like five apples and you're unsatisfied. <laughs> and then you've eaten like a five slivers. times the calories. Exactly. Yeah. It's just not worth it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm over that shit. Mm-hmm. And I hate that I was like in high school and stuff. I was like that where I'm like, mm-hmm. I need to eat diet stuff or fat free or you this know, or that's that. Kind of the weird thing too because I think my New Year's resolutions before too when I was younger was all all revolved on my weight yeah lose weight how I looked pounds you know and fit into this thing mm -hmm. yeah why society maybe the pressure that's put on us motherfuckers to look a certain way and be a certain way Mm -mm. yeah I'm over that stuff Mm -hmm. now I think it's kind of helps too though that we have more like realistic uh, role models mm-hmm. yeah. of what you know women like really look like mm-hmm. you know there's all Curves. different sizes mm-hmm. beauty and every different size mm-hmm. color yep. um you know style so I think the fact that we see that more now you know on platforms not as much as we should but we definitely <clears throat> you know there's certain brands and mm-hmm. and things that you know they're more embracing of every mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm it is nice. So yeah, I think I agree. I think mm-hmm. I've reached more a point. I don't really set New Year's resolutions, but for me, it's more like, okay, this year, mm-hmm. I'm going to try to take myself out of the box somehow. Like mm-hmm. if I really want to do something, if I want to travel somewhere or, you know, yeah. that's kind of where my goals and focus is at the beginning of the year. Yeah. To do something just to like that I've always Be wanted to do. Yourself. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Not something that's a punishment where mm-hmm. it's like, oh, I have to cut back on this in order to like be happy with myself. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I think for me this year, my goal is to just be more present in like the now. Mm-hmm. I think I worry about everything all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, and just with the pandemic and everything, I feel like these past few years have been so stressful. Yeah, I'm so done with like, feeling that way all the time so I'm just gonna really try to be like where I am in the moment and not so focused on all the shit that I can't control yeah that's exhausting that's a good good Mm. you know goal for 2022 yeah I would I would agree with that goal too I think for me it's more of just like trying to 
Without stress. Mm-hmm. You know, as much as I talk about it and I try to be very optimistic and upbeat about a lot of things, like, yeah. you know, sometimes I really do get stressed out because, you know, it's life. There's so it many is. things that are constantly just like, fuck, you know, what am yeah. I going to do? Like the it's- second you kind of feel like, <laughs> okay, it's kind of quiet and then bam. But I think ever like ever since a few years ago, I've kind of been like, okay, you know what? Let me focus on today. Like you said, mm-hmm. focus on the present. Right. I'm going to take it day by day. Yes. <laughs> second by second. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Okay. <laughs> What's in front of me? And yeah. that's really helped a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you have to. I think, well, I went to therapy for a while. And one of the things that she told me to focus on was like, Stop trying to control the things you can't control. Like, Mm -hmm. there's so many things that happen around you. All you have control over is what you do and how you respond to it. And I think I've been pretty bad at it the past couple of years. Like, just very, I get worked up really easy and super stressed. And so, yeah, I don't like Mm -hmm. it. I don't like being that person. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try really hard to just be like, hey, man, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Should we get you like a mm-hmm. Cheech and Chong? Yes, please. T-shirt like, hey, man. Whatever, man. <laughs> Go with the flow. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's Matthew McConaughey. I'm thin too. He's so gorgeous, he isn't is. he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know what? It totally fits you. All right, all right. Oh, I want to be that. Like, I want that persona. Mm-hmm. We're just I, I, like Betty White, Matthew McConaughey. I want. I want that secret, right? Yeah. Is it drugs? Is it we? What is it? I want it. Whatever it is, I, I want it. I don't think it is. I really think um, it's their outlook. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, you know, whatever happens, happens, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go with, you know, whatever comes my way is kind of yeah. that I'm, one. I need that. I might need weed to get to that point. <laughs> But well, it is legal in Arizona, <laughs> so you got it made, my friend. <laughs> if you walk in with a bag full of gummies, I know what you've been doing. Can I do that at work? Is that still is that legal? If it's if it's prescribed, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work on that. That doesn't mean prescribe it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work on that. <laughs> But hopefully I can just, I just want to be like, I just want to relax. I just need to relax. I know. Me too. Yeah. So then is there any um, like places you want to visit in 2022? There's a lot of places I want to go. And I think, um, I don't know about this year. I mean, we're probably going to like head up the beach and go up north for a little bit and do like our little normal excursions. But I think as my kids they're getting a little bit older we'll be able to travel with them more there's a lot of things we want to do with them and let them see um, I really want to explore our state a lot more mm-hmm. I mean I've seen like the Grand Canyon and I've seen some other things but there's so many cool places around here so I do want to kind of explore Arizona a little bit more and see more of that mm-hmm. I think that's a, a good start I would <clears throat> say I love living in Arizona I do too you have so much here mm-hmm. um one of my goals, I think, will be to visit the Wind Caves. Oh, that'd be cool. Have you, do you know where they are mm-hmm. outside of, like, they're, like, heading towards, I want to say Flagstaff. Okay. They have these really beautiful, like, wind caves. Oh, you okay. usually see them, like, on advertisements for Arizona. Yeah. Um, and like I you think, can kind of walk through all of mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Um, and they are on Indian land, mm-hmm. like a reservation. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have to get, like tour guides and stuff to go on and permission and I think it was closed for a while due to COVID but I think they'll probably be reopening it that would be really cool yeah I'd love to go visit there yeah me too there's a lot of little towns you know around here that have really cool history and stuff Mm -hmm. I'd love to go to that Havasu Pie Falls I've been there have you Mm -hmm. is it worth it yes yeah there's also this place outside I want to say outside of Flagstaff or Payson. It was very random. I'll, I'll look it up. I think it was called Walnut Creek. Have you ever been there? No. The It was a, just like a very random thing where we're like, oh, let's stop here. Mm-hmm. And it was so cool. You literally just walk through. Um, have you ever been to Boyce Thompson mm-hmm. Arboretum? Yeah. So it's kind of like that. You start at a certain point and then you can hike through like these canyons. Oh, wow. And it's in up in the woods. Um, and there's this one little area where it's like 
a glass area where you kind of have nothing oh. below you. Oh my. But it's, I mean, I'm scared of heights. Yeah. You know, I'm scared of heights. Yeah. But just seeing it is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And From it was afar. only like 10 bucks to oh, get yeah. in. That's worth it. It was very just random, like, oh, let's check this out. Mm hmm. That's mm-hmm. nice. See, you gotta be more adventurous. And we did take the boys to uh, Meteor Crater. Have oh, you ever been there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love up in that area. It's just really pretty. Where the aliens are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All the aliens. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Arizona has a lot of places you could probably it check does. out. Yeah. Once my kids get older, then we'll start exploring a little bit more. But, mm-hmm. you know, I think just doing little excursions like that or like, oh, let's just go drive for a couple hours and see where we end up. And mm-hmm. I think that'd be fun. You know what I really want to do too in 2022 is just, um, Brian and I used to do this when, you know, before we had the boys and stuff and now they're much older, but we used to just like randomly be like, Hey, let's check out a new restaurant and yeah. be like, it would just be a random place. We'd be driving like, I don't know, it's Scottsdale mm-hmm. or Phoenix somewhere. And we're like, Oh, you know, let's just stop here and have lunch. Yeah. You know, just out. going out and just doing something mm-hmm. that you normally wouldn't do to take you out of that eight to five. Yes. Rut. Where you feel like you're doing the exact same thing every single day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be good. So maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> do you guys have any new year's resolutions how do you feel about them do you think they're a good thing a bad thing i don't know i'm on the fence what are some good places to visit if you oh, live in arizona yeah. mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. yeah well we hope you enjoyed our segment here a little cheers again to miss betty white oh my gosh are you done <laughs> i am done cheers to your caramel glass <laughs> <laughs> It does still have caramel on it. You do. You go ahead and lick that glass. I did lick it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Bye. Bye.